So today I'm gonna make a pair of latex pants. Uh, I have uh, tried this uh, once or twice before. I am far from professional, but I have been quite happy with the end results. So uh, these are the steps I've gone through to uh, figure out how to make this. So uh, perhaps you'll find it useful as well. Let's go. So the first thing you need is a pattern to make the pants out of. The easiest way to do that is if you have a pair of old leggings that you don't really care about and then you cut them up and you try to make a uh, template out of that. So a second way would be if you uh, buy the template from a shop. If you're a girl, that might work. As a guy, uh, not so much perhaps. Uh, that's how I got my first pattern, but took it first and then uh, sewed it from uh, normal fabric kind of, well, this kind of stuff. Uh, you can definitely try out the whole fit with normal fabric because latex is super expensive. It took me quite a few iterations first before I cut the right shape that I uh, really liked. So all of that was just to demonstrate how you can make your own template. I already have mine that I've used before that I'm certain that it fits me perfectly. So I'm actually still gonna use that one again. So there we go. So on to the latex parts. So the latex I have bought from a place called uh, radicalrubber.co.uk or something. Uh, it's a bit pricey, the shipping is expensive as hell, but it's pretty nice stuff and it's kind of a niche product to begin with and I think that's the cheapest stuff I have uh, found in Europe at least, so uh, check them out. So it's good to put something heavy on top so the template doesn't move around and you get the perfect uh, lining around it. For drawing you should use something simple like a felt pen. This is not waterproof so it's very easy to get rid of it later on. Did I also mention that you need two of these pieces? So, other side. And see, minimal waste of uh, material. They fit nicely and there's only a tiny bit of side pieces left. So, never waste material. So, out of tools, what you need is a rotatory cutter like this. You wanna use this instead of scissors because this is gonna make a very nice and clean cut. If you start to cut the scissors, it's gonna leave those weird edges and you will never get it perfect. And the second tool you need is this uh, roller. It's basically just kind of a heavy, smooth surface. You could also just use a something like bottle or whatever is smooth and uh, heavy enough. This is rubber cement of some kind. In Danish, it looks kind of like that, basically, some kind of heavy duty rubber cement. What is very important is plexiglass, since uh, you need a nice and smooth surface to use the cutter on, so you can kind of cut it and it's nice and smooth. So uh, very nice to have, and it's also pretty cheap, like 10 bucks, something like that. Have that with your latex on top, cut it, and then we get to the gluing part. So before you start cutting, it can be a little bit tricky uh, when you need to do some curves and so on. So it is good to do some trial runs. So if you have a new roll, maybe waste a little bit of it in the beginning, then you can do uh, what I'm gonna show you now. But first, create some lines. So like this and that. So, as you can see, you have a longer side on the top 
and the shorter side. The shorter side is for the crutch, uh, the longer side is for the ass. So just as we did with the cutting, we also want to try some of the gluing parts. So we're gonna take the piece that we made before, we're going to create a mirror piece and then we're gonna try to put both of them together. So let's see how that goes. For gluing, the first step is to take some household spirit, basically 80, 90, whatever percent alcohol. Use it to clean up the edges uh, from, um, I think it's talcum powder or something, made to make it less sticky and so on. So you need about one centimeter from both sides that you're gluing to. What you want to do next is mark one centimeter to the side that you're gluing to. The reasoning for this is that when you finally start gluing, it's, it's very hard to say how far you're gonna put it. If you don't have the markings there, you're basically going to uh, put it there and then maybe it's gonna be way over or way less and it's not gonna be even. So if you have the markings, you know that you start, you put it on the line and you keep on going on the line. Also, we totally cleaned the wrong side. So you want this mirrored. So one side is this and the other side will be this. And then you clean that side instead. Put something underneath. We want it like that. Put some tin foil there so you don't fuck anything up behind it. You put some tin foil up there later on. Do you do the markings? You take a normal brush. Take a bit of glue and then do this one centimeter strip. You don't have to be too precise. One centimeter from the other side. After you're done with the gluing, you give it uh, five minutes time to uh, dry up. Uh, that way both sides will get nice and sticky. And then you start to glue it together. It's been almost five minutes. Not really, but fuck it. You add the piece in there to keep these sides from touching. And then basically you try to put one centimeter from the beginning. You press it down and then you try not to stretch it or let it lose too much and then you just little by little you start going up and the thing is that you can't really fix things when you go too far like if you pull this you might rip it and that's why I have to be really careful like if you really fuck it up you can kind of really slowly pull it uh, apart and try to fix it but in general really really try to get it right the first time around and the final part is you take the roller and you go over the glue so this will make the bond a lot stronger so here's some common mistakes first if you don't have that one centimeter marked off you can get these areas where it gets super thin super thick and it's not even and then if you're not patient enough this kind of things can happen. So this is not smooth at all. So it will look ugly. Take your time, try to go over exactly the right amount and then press it down properly. If you move too fast and turn it too much, it's just gonna, it's gonna end like this very bad. You want to start from the crutch and go down because sometimes when you start from down there, it might actually not line up up here. So it's the best to start from up and go down. Place some paper on the table so you don't glue up the table. You place your latex on top. That way when you glue it, you can go over and it's fine. You want to put another piece in the middle. Since if you turn this in here and you try to glue this, that way you don't mess up the latex underneath. So the first step as usual is to clean up the surface. You let it air off. Step number two, one centimeter. It's also good to mark a few spots on the other side so you know how to thick to make the glue strip. 
So the next step is gluing. I don't know if it's needed, but I tend to give it a nice shape. Give it a nice healthy coat and try to be fast because in a few moments after you applied it, uh, the latex will start to curl around and then it becomes kind of hard to reapply it. You will go. So it can be a bit more sloppy, doesn't matter. And then we do the same on the other side. And then you give it about five minutes of waiting time. What we also want to do is take some tin foil and place it over in here so you don't accidentally glue things together. You take your uh, first piece and you slowly, slowly, slowly start putting it all together. For our next step, you take the roller tool, you basically press hard and roll over the glue. In this case, we have two pieces for the pattern. Uh, when we're putting this together, we want to have uh, the two pieces mirrored. So if the other guy is like that, we want to basically uh, kind of these guys and like that. So uh, make sure that you have this uh, longer piece in one end like this, and then it would basically mirror up on the other side. They basically match together. Otherwise, if it is the other way around, can't really do the crutch because well, it doesn't match so if you try to go it would be the wrong side luckily enough latex is well the same surface on both sides but uh, still when you're gluing the thing then you usually have a bit of a nicer uh, glue side on the side you're working at better to get it right the first time around so in order to put the crush together what we're gonna do is you start up by aligning the pieces so, once again you start by cleaning the edges So you want to start gluing from the crutch, from the center.
So when you try to glue this down, it's good to keep. Ah, God damn it! It's good to keep uh, the piece on top a little bit uh, raised, and then with one finger, you try to kind of uh, slowly glide and lead the edge, so it becomes a nice and perfect uh, fit. Since the pattern that I used was mostly just improvised with uh, no consideration into seam allowances and things like that, then the edges might not align up like this. What works though is if we now just cut it off straight and then it's gonna be uh, perfect. Since I want my leggings to be short rather than uh, long ones, then I'm gonna just cut off the piece. So to make these things a bit more durable, we are going to add a little strip for each of the legs and also one strip on the waistline. Also to make it a little bit nicer and flashier, I'm going to make mine uh, with an accent color of red. Let's see. Basically, uh, this is a very simple pair of leggings. Totally usable, however, uh, not exactly comfortable when you're going to a bathroom. Well, as a guy, you can get by, as a girl, definitely not. Uh, so, you might also want to add a zipper in here. So, I'm gonna do it retrospectively. Theoretically, if you want to add it in from the beginning, there's uh, maybe some better ways of doing it, but uh, this will work just as fine as well. So, let's see how that goes. For zippers, you can use the same fabric ones used for clothing. You need to add that same glue we use for uh, latex on the edges in here. You really want to have many layers and uh, let it dry up properly in between layers. If you don't do that, uh, quite easily the glue that can just come off and you will be without a zipper in an event with everything out. Don't do that. And make sure that it's uh, this kind of a locking type that doesn't come down on its own. Otherwise, some fairly painful accidents can happen. I salvaged mine from a pair of jeans, since I uh, couldn't find anything good in the shop. The start of the crutch is here. I'm thinking of adding it here. So I think I'm just gonna do one single cut and this will be underneath it. I've never tried this design before, but it's all about experimenting and playing around with new things. End result should be looking something like this. First things first, we got out a little strip of latex. So this cut won't just rip anything apart. We need to put in some reinforcement. Up here, another one down there. Suddenly I realized that the latex was curling up too much, so I added some painter's tape underneath to keep it straight.
So that is about it. We are ready. So let's try it on. So the end results came out pretty well. I'm super happy with it. Uh, a few things I would have done differently perhaps, like the red line on top in here. It didn't really match that well with the top of my hat. So I would have rather made it black. And uh, the zipper as well, uh, it was like an extra add-on on top later on. So that should have been planned in a bit better. But uh, overall, yeah. I'm happy. I also made like these completely loose strips in here that one can use for putting stuff in between. So So that's the project, uh, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it.